Today we're going to be looking at what different symbols that we've seen throughout the text mean or represent. So the way that we're going to complete this assignment is that when you open the slides in your Google Classroom assignment, you can see that I have given you symbols that appear throughout the book. So we know that the flies or the Lord of the Flies serves as a symbol. And I give you evidence here of this. So when the severed pig's head that Jack impales is on a stake as an offering to the beast, we can see how that is evidence of the Lord of the Flies. When the Lord of the Flies speak to Simon and tell him that he's evil, that evil lies within every human's heart, in order to have fun with them, this is the work of the Lord of the Flies. So you're going to tell me here, what does that mean? So what is the, why does William Golding, the author, describe this Lord of the Flies? What is it teaching us? So when the Lord of the Flies convinced Simon that all humans are actually evil, what is that telling us about human behavior or life or society? When we talk about the fire, so I'll just make it big for all of us. When we talk about the signal fire that we saw throughout the text, in the very beginning, Ralph was um, wanting the signal fire. And you can exp I explained to you here the meaning is that it measures the boy's connection to civilization, that it's their desire to maintain um, a connection with society. And when the boys are focused on the signal fire, such as Ralph and Piggy in the very beginning, in chapters one and two, we can see that they want for, to be part of society, whereas as the fire burns out, we see that the boys desire to be saved. When we see in the text that there's a ship on the horizon, however, they're not the ship is not able to see the boys on the island because the fire has burned out. We can see here that the meaning that I give you is that the boys are no longer interested in being saved. They no longer want to be part of society. They're satisfied on the island, living in chaos and anarchy. Another symbol that we've talked about throughout the um, text is the conch shell. I give you the symbolic meaning that it's a vessel of political legitimacy and dem democratic power. You need to identify evidence of the text when the conch shell is used, which characters determine how it's used, and what does it tell us? So we see in the beginning that Ralph is using that conch shell in order to call the boys to a meeting. So it's creating order and organization. That would be the meaning, the symbolic meaning. And we see in the uh, later chapters that Ralph determines that the conch shell is going to allow people to speak and contribute, or if they don't have the shell, then they must listen. So that would be evidence from the text and you're, that would prove to us the symbolic meaning of how the conch shell was giving democratic power because it was determining who could speak and when. As the shell loses its powers, the boys descend into savagery. So we can see when the conch shell is no longer used by Ralph and that the boys, the um, little ones, are no longer willing to um, give the conch shell the power to determine who speaks, then we see that they are slipping further away from civilization away from the rule and order of um, society and deeper into savagery and chaos. So what you're going to do is put evidence from the text that proves this meaning to us. When we see Piggy's glasses used to make the fire, so you're going to give us evidence from the text where we see that occur, we can tell that the purpose of the author including Piggy, Piggy's glasses is to show us the power of science. He's also proving us um, to us intellectual endeavor. So glasses generally symbolize like knowledge, intelligence, being smart. We see that Piggy does have good ideas. He is smart. However, the boys on the island refuse to listen to him. And so you could analyze in the symbolic meaning further than the definitions that I give you. You could go into further depth about how um, what it means when the boys don't listen to Piggy and um, what that tells us about their society that they're creating, what their values are, what their beliefs are, and um, why are they not willing to listen to rationale, scientific discovery, and um, intelligence. The beast, I give you the information. So you can fill it in more if you'd like. 
but this is the information that I really want for you to understand about the beast because most often students ask about, you know, what is the meaning of the Lord of the Flies and what is the meaning of the beast? So I'm going to explain it to you quickly. If you'd like to add to it and you have additional understandings of it, I enjoy um, reading those. It's totally up to you whether you'd like to add to this slide. So the boys become more savage as their belief in the beast grows even stronger. So we see that in the very beginning, um, the little ones are having nightmares the first night because they believe that there's a beast that they hear and see. And the older boys um, dismiss it and they say, no, that's just your, your fears. Um, there's not really a beast. There's not really something out in the jungle. But then as the book progresses, we see that all of the boys start believing in the beast. And the symbolic meaning of that beast is that um, everybody has the instinct towards savagery, and it's like what lies within all of us, that capability of, um, you know, being cruel and not being part of society and doing the wrong things. It's like that beast that's luring us to um, do not do the right thing, to do the wrong things. So the boys we see throughout the text are leaving the beast sacrifices. They're trying to like keep the beast satisfied so that he doesn't harm them. But we later find out in the book that the beast is actually each of the characters' minds. It's within them. It's not um, something that's harmful outside of them that they can um, control. So really their sacrifices should have been like how within themselves they could keep control over their human instinct to act cruelly. Like maybe if they had had a more organized society as Ralph and Piggy were trying to promote. But instead they go down the path of Jack and hunting and savagery and a lust for blood and power and greed. And we can see all of these um, inherently negative qualities about human behavior. And then we see a quote here that, however Simon thought of the beast, there rose before his inward sight the picture of a human at once. Um, let me see if I can. At once heroic and sick. So in chapter six, we see that Simon confronts the beast and he recognized Simon had been a very kind and a good and a helpful character. But when he confronts the beast, he realizes that Everyone has the capability of cruelty, even those who are the most kind. Okay, the symbolic meaning of the Christian Bible. I again give you the information because it's a little bit difficult to find within the text. So you need to be responsible for understanding that the literal translation of Beelzebub from uh, the chapter of Kings in the Bible represents the devil that corrupts Simon when he's in the forest after they kill the pig. When um, Simon himself as a character could represent Jesus, we see evidence of this in the text when Simon has a conversation with the Lord of the Flies. He's having a confrontation between Jesus and the devil when Jesus, Jesus took for, was for in the wilderness for 40 days, according to the Christian um, gospel. So Simon's journey is very similar to Jesus's journey within the Christian faith. However, in the book, Simon, his death does not bring salvation to the island. Rather, the, the boys on the island are plunged into more guilt and savagery. We see how their behavior deteriorates after Simon's death when he was alive. They still were kind of in check with their morality. They were still a little bit organized. But then after Simon's death, we see that they um, spin, spiral even more out of control and into anar anarchy and chaos that's created by Jack. So we see that the meaning of this um, journey, of Simon's journey and his uh, representation of Jesus, is that we're able to arrive at the moral truth of the novel and that the other boy, boys kill him as a sacrifice or a consequence of having discovered his truth. In contrast, Simon dies before being able to share his truth with the boys, whereas Jesus was killed while spreading the moral philosophy. And then the final symbol that you're going to complete is what is the meaning of the island itself? So we know that the boys are deserted, they're alone, they're isolated, 
So where do we see evidence in the text that describes to us the setting? And what might be the meaning of that setting? So I give you an example that paradise is pristine, the garden even Eden in the Bible, and then in the island that we see the boys on, they have been corrupted by evil, or as we looked at in the Christian Bible, by Beelzebub. So what you're going to do for this assignment is complete all of the missing um, spaces within each of the slides. You can add to the slides as well. I would recommend doing it in a different color or a different font. Um, make sure that your work is distinguishable. But essentially, you're going to tell me what you think is the meaning of the symbols that we see throughout the story and identify where we see those symbols occur or being mentioned throughout the text. We know that symbols represent an abstract idea. They might reveal something to us about human nature. And symbols are not just mentioned once in the text, but they appear throughout the entire text. If you have any questions as you're working, feel free to ask, and I look forward to learning about your interpretation of the text.